How's it going everybody? Josh KI6NAZ. I'm back in the frigid north to test out some new radios. So come along with me, won't you? Uh, yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm on my dad's. Uh, we're playing in the snow after Christmas, but I do have a radio to show you, so uh, let's have some fun. So before we kick things off, just want to give a big thank you to uh, Adam K6ARK for sending me this radio to take a look at. Uh, surprising. Well, you probably already saw the, th the thumbnail for this. Didn't expect it to be so small. It looks actually a lot bigger in pictures, but. So what are we looking at? I got my little Peak Design bag here. And in it, I have packed this little QRP radio, a tiny little mic for this guy. Here it is. It is the FX4C. It is an SDR HF radio. And we're gonna take a look at it. So I, I know very little about this radio actually, other than it's like two thirds the size of a KX2. It looks like somebody just took a KX2, lopped the end off of it and put a G90 screen on it. And le let me show you what I mean specifically. So it does have that funky uh, RC car connector, but I've got a battery here. This is a rechargeable bank that I found off of Amazon. It's actually pretty, pretty interesting. So plug into that guy. Check out the screen on this thing. It's pretty impressive. Not bad. I've got another thing I'm testing out while I'm up at my dad's, but George sent me the, the prototype 40 meter add-on for his Pactena. And it already has the banana plugs attached. So you see that? Boom, there's your 40 meter element. So I'm gonna, while the kids are sledding with my dad, I'm gonna go ahead and get this up and then maybe take a couple runs on the sled. As per usual, I don't have a plan, but I'm gonna be sitting up there. So I think I'm gonna put the pole right there, vertical. The 20 is gonna go out to it. And then the 40 element's gonna slope somewhere around here, bring it to that pole. Uh, it's got guy line, so this shouldn't be a problem. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that was a nice post hole I just found myself in. I'm gonna have to do things a little bit funky here because um, I don't want to drop this in the snow, get a bunch of water on it, but I want to get this pull up with it at the end. And then I need to connect the 40 meter element. And you know what? I'm gonna end up going that way and up. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Most importantly, a little hazy IPA. That's five half the volume. The, the you're listening to half the volume. All I know is that 
Alright, there's a button for every mode, single sideband. It does lower sideband, upper sideband, and then it has a digi mode for each. There's a CW button, it goes in a CW mode. It supports AM, FM, memory select, A and B channel for the dual receive transmit channel. Not separate receivers or transmitters, just it splits. RIT uh, is your transmit shift. Okay, so under IF, that's actually your AGC control. You can see that fast. Um, manual, I guess. Slow. I'm leaving on slow for single sideband. Power output. So power output shows 10 watts output, and you can scale that back using the AF dial here. Fonts kind of odd. Power's gone. Okay, filter. It goes up to 3 kilohertz filtering and down to 1.5 on single sideband. I'll leave it on 2. I have the function button was illuminated to, uh, when I click the function button, it brings up the band shift or band change, so it'll do 80 through 6 meters. And what's under menu? Nothing. What if I hold it down? Okay. Okay? Holy smokes, I don't know what... It's got a TXCO, so it's got some kind of stable time source. Squelch. CW volume, CW delay, mic gain, man, this is way into the ALC, okay, so you can't adjust ALC, interesting, and right, let me get out of there for, <laughs> worry that I'll destroy something, I would like to increase the brightness, I gotta figure out how to do that on the screen, the screen's okay, it, it's a little, it's not backlit enough though. Let's take a listen to it. I did it work pretty good. And I'll really be interested to hear how she comes out on that. Um, I, uh, I got my uh, 30K amp meter uh, mounted on my 30K side today. I'm pretty, pretty happy with the way they turned out. I don't have them activated. I don't have them hooked up, but right. I have them Let's go up. physically mounted. And uh, they look pretty good. And I noticed one of them says Simpson, and the other one does not. Some distortion. So I went and looked at my the other 30Ks. And yeah, some distortion at 99, but uh, 50 sounds great. And again, great for small speaker. Everybody understand what I'm saying. I don't mean objectively good audio. I mean objectively good for the size. Uh, Gary, I got a question for you. Uh, like on these uh, small 157 series, Simpson meter. Do you know what size nut um, holds them? Uh, you know how? Let's go down to CW here. Let's get down in the CW range, see if we can find something. That was FT8. Like, normally, it's beef or 
If you're curious about this battery pack, uh, it's a little bit bigger than a playing card deck. It's the Talent Cell uh, Lithium Ion Pack. It feeds or inputs off of the coaxial and outputs USB-A and also outputs on the coaxial when you have it on. And it's got this little display. Note, uh, I started making this video with five lights on and it's now gone to four. I don't know how well this will hold up. Um, it's probably fine for QRP for doing an activation or two, but I don't know that it's going to be a long, a long runner. But at the size, you know, I can't really blame it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I uh, hope you had fun. Just a quick little look at this uh, QRP radio. The link is in the description. It is off of eBay, where the creator of the radio sells it. I am not sure of the origin of this radio. I'm told that it was possibly being sold by another group in the past possibly LNR, the same people that do the mountain topper. So I don't know everything, the whole story of what's going on. This was just sent to me to take a look at, and there'll probably be a follow-on video in the future where I can do a little bit longer uh, activations with it, because right now I'm, it's a little not comfortable out here, and I didn't really pack enough coax to run it in the garage or the house at this point. So that'll have to be for a future video. I'm Josh, KI6NAZ. Thanks so much for watching, 73.